Parky Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the good old diet do. All right, let's talk about some balsa wood today. All right, the thing is so massive, I couldn't lay it flat on my table uh, without knocking 10 million things off. So this is how I had to kind of prop it up here. This is a Veen Quang. I believe I'm, I believe I'm saying that right. Or just VQ DHC2 Beaver with the military uh, color scheme. This is a balsa, one of my few balsa models that I actually do have. We picked this up at a, a swap meet years ago and I've gradually done work to it here and there, but haven't done a whole lot of work to it. Um, so this is it in the flesh. Um, you guys may have seen it in the background of my videos. So I thought it was time to kind of start throwing some balsa stuff in here and just kind of introducing it. And uh, if you guys want to see more of it, I will gladly keep on going with the project. Um, I got a funny thing I want to point out here. This, this little piece of damage right here was caused by my own ignorance, honestly. <laughs> Uh, these little hooks that I have up here to hang planes on, yeah, I bumped into it one day, and, uh, well, that's what happened. So that, of course, I'll need that repaired. Um, as far as progress on this thing, I have got the aileron servos in place. Um, let me see if I can show you one here. So I do have the aileron servos in place, as well as the elevator servos. This is actually a dual elevator servo plane. Um, and that's really about the extent of it. I do actually have other parts already ordered and here ready to go. I just need to put them in, basically. So, one thing I do like about this airplane is this little hatch that you can easily remove to access anything you need to access to on the inside. So, if you need to access your receiver, hooking your battery up, connecting your servo wires, you know, just whatever, you get that little hatch that just comes right off, and then you can go ahead and uh make your connections and there actually is a little um pilot figurine that actually goes in in place of it as well so i do have that um this model can be outfitted either with electric or with a nitro or gas motor whichever you want to do i'm of course going to be doing electric with it so that's kind of the uh the scoop with it okay one thing uh, that i'm not too fond of with this plane um, is the, the wheels and how they attach. Now you can kind of see here, there's like a center bolt that goes through the wheel kind of serves as your axle. And then if we look at the other side here, uh, you can stick a little nut that, uh, attaches on the other side. Um, what I found is that I can't seem to get a good, um, a good happy medium with that. You know, one wheel spins pretty freely. The other one, you know, doesn't spin well, well at all. And if I loosen it too much, it becomes wobbly and you have know, you risk the chance of it falling off. So I'm not too happy with the design of that. So I'm probably going to switch these out for, um, I think Dubro makes some wheel axles that I've had good success with. I'll probably go ahead and just switch them out for something like that. And I'm kind of, kind of undecided if I'm going to keep the foam wheels that came with it or if I might switch those out too, but you know, we'll see. And something, something else that's really cool too, is I have a working door. Check that out. As well as some detailed, um, like a detailed uh, instrument panel there with uh, controls and everything like that. So, pretty cool, huh? All right, guys. There you have it. The DHC2 Beaver by Ving Quang or, or VQ. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, this is one of the few balsa models I really have. So, um, hoping to eventually start getting more into doing some balsa stuff as well. So, but anyways, that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.